we also want our sample mean to be unbiased where any sample mean is just as likely to overestimate to underestimate the population mean. we also want our sample mean to be sample 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 mean to be unbiased unbiased where any sample mean is just likely to be overestimate or underestimate overestimate or underestimate the population mean the median does not share this property median does not share this property at small samples at a small samples at small samples the sample median of completion times tends to considerably overestimated the population median for small sample task time data for small sample task time data Last time data is geometric mean estimates the population median better than the uh, better than the sample median. Okay. As the sample size get larger, uh, about twenty five, the median tend tend to be best estimate middle uh, middle value. We can use binomial distribution to estimate binomial distribution to estimate confidence intervals the following the following formula constructs a confidence interval around any percentile the median 0.5 would be most common 0.5 would be most common okay this formula np plus or minus effect of 1 minus alpha divided by 2 uh, root of np into 1 minus p n is the sample size okay sample size p is the percentile expressed there okay percentile expressed there as a proportion until yeah, this total this total is the standard error standard error the confidence interval around the median is given by the values taken by the integer value in this formula in the ordered data set the confidence rci around the median gives the given by the values taken by the integer values in this formula in order in the order to data set actually confidence interval huh? estimate the confidence interval estimate the confidence interval the following formula concept here confidence interval around the any percentile any percentile the median 0.5 would be most common okay so n is the sample size uh, sample size then multiply with the percentile expressed so plus or minus value uh, already we have seen set of 1 minus alpha 2 uh, how much we are getting alpha we have to divide by 2 then getting value we have to minus from 1 then we have to multiply with the z np num, uh, n is the sample size already we know then p is the percentile we have to multiply same like this then we have to percentile minus with the one 
then how much we are getting equal to multiply with this then total three value after multiplication we have to take square root then how much we are getting we have we are going to multiply with this okay then add with this add add or uh, after getting this one plus or minus value to be add with the, this total np how much we are coming we have to additional with this add with this np okay okay then now we are going to um, discuss uh, about a uh, hypothesis testing hypothesis testing h not is called the null hypothesis h1 is the alternative hypothesis this hypothesis means Null means zero. This is no zero, but the alternative solution is there. This will give alternative solution. They are mutually exclusive and exhaustive. Mutually exclusive. Okay, mutually exclusive. Okay, mutually exclusive and they exist. A null hypothesis cannot mutually exclusive exist. Uh, a null hypothesis cannot never be proved to be true. Null hypothesis, this one never proved to be. It can only be shown to be plausible. Okay. The alternative hypothesis can be single tailed, single H1. Okay. Single tailed, it must achieve some value to reject the null hypothesis. H not the alternative hypothesis can be single tailed it must achieve some value to reject the null hypothesis okay so H H not equal to equal to uh, mu one Less than or great, uh, less than or equal to mu two. H one equal to mu one is greater than mu two. Or can be two tailed, single tailed can be alternative. Or to be two tailed, it must be different from certain value to reject. Nile hypothesis. Okay. So H not equal to mu one equal to mu two. H one mu one not equal to mu two. Statistically significant is the probability. That is not, not due to chance. Statistically significant is the probability that is not due to chance. If we fail to reject the null hypothesis, find significance. This does not mean that the null hypothesis is true, only that our study did not find sufficient evidence to reject it. Correct. Our study to be Find sufficient evidence is the must one. Tests are not reliable if the statement of the hypothesis are suggested by the data. Data should be data. The <coughs> tests are not reliable if the statement of the 
hypothesis are suggested by the data mapping this very important one p value we choose the probability level or p value that it defines when sample results will be considered strong enough sorry strong enough to support the rejection of the null hypothesis we choose probability level or p value that defines when sample result will be considered sample result will be considered strong enough to support rejection of null hypothesis reject expose the probability that the extreme results uh, extreme results obtained uh, publishes sample data are due to chance yeah low the low p value for example less than 0 0.05 means that the null hypothesis is unlikely to be true with the null hypothesis testing all it takes is sufficient evidence instead of definitely for proof that we can see as a at least some uh, difference the size of the difference is given by confidence interval around the difference with the null hypothesis testing testing all it uh, all it takes sufficient evidence in series definitive proof that is we can uh, see at least some difference the size of the size of difference is given by the confidence interval around the difference a small p type value might occur by chance because of problems related to data collections problems related to data collection because violations of the conditions necessary for testing procedure because such not is is true if multiple tests are carried out a some are likely to be significant by chance alone or sigma equal to 0 0.05 we expect that uh, that the significant result will be five percentage of that time. Be suspicious when you see a few significant results when many tests have been carried out or significant results few subgroups of the data. Errors in statistics, statistics, statistics. Um, if you wrongly say that uh, there is a difference, we have type 1 error. If wrongly say that there is different type 1 error. If you wrongly say there is no difference, it is called type 2 error. Wrongly say that there is difference, type 1. If you wrongly say there is no difference, type 2 error. Setting alpha equal to 0 0.05 means we accept at 5 percentage probability type 1 error. That is we have 5 percentage chance to reject, chance of rejecting null hypothesis when we should fail to reject it. Levels of acceptability type 2 error uh, are usually beta equal to 0 0.1 meaning that it has 10 10 percentage probability of the type error, uh, type 2 error or 10 percentage chance that the null hypothesis will be false but will fail to be rejected in the study. Uh, 